Hey everyone, so Tara here, and this video I'm doing for my challengers in the Harry Potter challenge, but if you're watching this and you're not in the group, it uh, means I decided to share it with other people because there's some good tips in here. But this tip is going to have a Harry Potter theme to it. I've got my Hermione wand here. Check that out. I love it. And um, I want to talk about this. So in Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, what happens when they're in the wilderness? Ron, Hermione, and Harry are trying to hide themselves as they're hunting down the Horcruxes, right? Those are the things they need to defeat Voldemort. So they need to buy some time. So they're hiding. And there's uh, snatchers that are out that are trying to find them so they can bring them to Voldemort and get a reward right? So every time they get to a new location, Hermione casts a spell. She does a charm that protects them and keeps them invisible and undetected. At one point, there's even a snatcher who's like right in front of Hermione's face uh, who can't, you know, see her because her, her charm has protected her. So I want you to think about your environment and your health and fitness as a charm that you're casting. Okay, so I want you to really think about your environment. And one of the biggest places that needs some careful thought is your pantry. Okay, so this weekend, we were working on our pantry and setting it up. And I wanted to share with you some tips that I have uh, based on our experience. So as I'm walking from here to my office, which I do a thousand times a day, right at the first inside part of the pantry is the thing that I see. And what I found was that all the like chips and snacks and crackers and the things that might be calling my name were right here. And every single day, whether it was intentional or not, it went, do you want to eat this? And my brain went, do I, do I want to eat it? And I had to think about it just because it was right there. You, you make far more decisions than you think. And I want you to think about your brain in terms of a muscle. So when you're lifting weights, right, and you're doing a certain number of reps, you get to a certain point where you simply can't do anymore right? You can't. As hard as you try, your muscle is done. Well, your brain's like that. Every time that you add, give it an opportunity to make a decision, and there's research that supports this, every time you give it an opportunity to make a decision, do you want this? And your brain has to go, no. It gets to a point where it has said no so many times that it's exhausted. That's why sometimes when people have a goal to lose weight, stop smoking, stop drinking, it's too much. And researchers actually say do one thing at a time because you're exhausting your muscle. So let's help keep your brain kind of in prime working condition by setting up your pantry for success. So let me share with you some tips that I did. So as I told you, this first section right here is the section that tempts me the most. So what I did was I took out all of the snacks and in place, first of all, I put up these bins that kind of concealed what's in here so I don't even see it. But actually what's in here is just pasta for dinner. So there's nothing that's gonna be really exciting. And a top ramen that my family loves. And just a couple things to help my family. Like little meal prep stuff, right? Then up at the top here are cereals. Now I am scared about that corn checks. We're gonna see what happens there. I'm gonna test it out because uh, that is the cereal that calls my name. But just breakfast cereals that are easy to grab. And then at the top, and this is what's most visible for me, I have nuts and dried fruit, which are A-OK. -okay. Those are great things to have. Same goes up here. I've got a couple things uh, that are there. Those are, there are a couple sweets there, but nothing that really tempts me. And then that shelf back here are normally where some snacky items are, uh, but I've got those little seed packets, which have been money. I got those at Costco. Here, let me show you. Really good. I like them because I, I struggle with getting seeds in. I know I need to get those in. Um, this is a little bit of dried fruit in there, just a little bit, just enough. Where did I get these from? Oh, Costco. Those are awesome. Okay, so next up, in the corner, still some protein powder and stuff. Right down here, this doesn't tempt me. This is my kid's cred. So stuff I prep their lunches with, stuff I stuff their lunches with. Okay, a couple snacks there for them. All right, let me talk about the shelf here. This is a big topic I want to talk about. This is my family's candy shelf, and yeah, it's low. Let me talk about it for a little bit. So, I have a family that loves dessert. Try as I might, dessert is a daily thing in this house. So what I did when I set things up for my family is I was like, all right, if we're gonna have dessert, it's gotta be stuff that I really don't care about. So I'm a chocolate girl, so you'll see, if you look in here, every single thing here is like a, a candy, and they get a little bit every day. Um, and I try to keep chocolate out of this section. Now, if I do have chocolate, I get Ghirardelli squares that are 70% chocolate and I can steal them or, you know, I might put them up on these shelves somewhere where I'm not seeing it regularly or it might be in a container like this 
where I can't see it. By the way, I've got quest bars in here for myself. Um, but I try to keep it to where everything is out of sight so that my brain isn't constantly making those decisions. So I want to encourage you to look at your pantry and think about the things. Think about what your family feels like they need. You may want to, while you're working on yourself, let them still do their thing, but just have them conceal some of those things so that your brain doesn't see it. Right? I'm not saying they have to like go find a place in the house to hide it, but just put it in the bin somewhere where you can't see it and ask them to respect that. If not, you have a whole different discussion that you need to have with your family, right? Same goes for your fridge. If soda tempts you, I have my husband keep it in the trunk in the car. It stays cold for the most part of the year and it's pretty, pretty nice or in the garage or something like that. Or if it's in the um, fridge, it's concealed so that every day that I'm opening, I'm not going, ooh, soda. Uh, same goes for, gosh, anything. Like the refrigerator, I try to keep it appealing with healthy snacks. I always have clementines visible for me and things like that so that I have more healthy options. And if I'm snacking, the first place I have learned to go to, and it took making it a habit, is I go to my fridge before I come here. Because most of the things in here are things that mm, are probably loaded with preservatives or something like that. I try to keep it pretty clean. But if I do come in, I'll grab a Quest Bar or something like these nuts. So I hope that helps. I want to hear what kind of charms you're casting on your environment to make sure that you are really set up for success. Don't leave it up to sheer willpower alone because I'm sorry, but that muscle's gonna fail you. I wanna hear what you're doing to set things up. So comment below and let me know. Bye everyone.